graph cut guillotine range. In particular, today we'll be concentrating on the graph cut G73H and the advantages of the graph cut machinery range against what would be considered the go-to range of guillotines in this marketplace, which are the ideal EVA range. Uh, particularly today we've got the uh, Ideal EVA 7260. Uh, we'll go through on this video the advantages of uh, a graph cut and the four machines that are in the range. But we'll be concentrating on the G73H today and why you should consider this as your perfect cutting companion. Okay, so now I want to talk about specifications. Um, of the GraphCut G73H and as a comparison we'll compare it to the uh, Ideal EVA 7260 um, they are quite similar in specification but there are some significant differences that do make uh, the GraphCut stand out in this area as well um, so the GraphCut G73H 730mm cut width 730mm cut depth and a full 100mm stack height which is the height below the blade that can actually cut in one go uh, the Ideal EVA 7260 720 cut width 720 cut depth behind the blade and an 80mm cut height. So obviously for the larger jobs, the uh, graph cut is cutting slightly more on each cycle. Um, both machines are um, fully programmable. The back gauge on the graph cut G73H has recently been sped up, so now it's doing 88 millimeters per second, um, which is market leading right up there with um, Polars uh, and the really high end machines. Uh, the ideal back gauge is running, I believe, at about 50 millimeters, 40 to 50 millimeters per second. Quite a big difference between job changes, size changes, and that kind of stuff when you're in the program. Uh, both machines have a full um, airbed uh, across the front and rear table. Um, the big difference here is that the air table on the graph cut is controlled through the uh, 175 millimeter touchscreen which means you can program it um, right through the job so if you've got starting off with a large sheet and finish off with a, a small sheet you don't particularly want the airbed on as the sheets get smaller you don't need it so you can actually program it to stop and start uh, at various points within the program uh, which is a really handy tool um, whereas on the ideal EBA the airbed is simply on or off uh, there's no programmable control for it um, so a bit more controls on um, the graph cut. Um, both machines have a false clamp plate so you can remove them, false clamp plate on this machine, hooks underneath with a proximity sensor to tell the machine it's off and then it'll come to a smallest cut of 30 millimeters. Um, the false clamp plate on the ideal EBA slots in the back of the machine and then it'll come forward to uh, 22 millimeters. Um, and that's it for the specification. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the control panel on the GraphCut G73H. As you can see, nice, clear, uh, full color screen. Uh, we've got our modes down here, manual mode, auto mode, card cutting and options. Uh, we've got absolute mode, incremental mode, eject, and move the back fence forwards and backwards. So these two buttons just allow us to move the back gauge. If we want to move it manually, uh, we can just type in our size. We want to move it to precise size, let's say 500 millimeters. Once runs to the size, Whilst we're in manual mode, we can um, have the air table on or off, um, all controlled from the screen. Um, and we've got an incremental mode. So what this allows us to do, we've got precise cuts, let's say 55 mil business cards. We can just put that in there and then we can just say we want to bring the back gauge forward by 55 mil each time and it'll do them cuts without going into an automatic mode. We can adjust the eject uh, distance so it ejects further to bring the paper further onto the front table uh, or shorter um, for speedier operation. Um, we've also got uh, auto mode. So auto mode is our programs. So we can um, go into our program list and it'll give our uh, full names there. Um, so we can select the program. Um, so let's uh, select program two. Um, and we need to, firstly, we need to give it a name. So we press program edit and we give it a name and we can call it full characterization. After print, enter. And we've got program two named after print uh, step one. Obviously we can go through step two, step one. Um, we can type in the size that we want to cut. So let's say uh, 550 millimeters. And then we've got the next cut, so we can go uh, 400 millimeters. And we can just carry on going down like this until we've um, completed the uh, task of uh, program. So we can carry on down, it'll do up to 100 steps. 
In here we've got, the, if we want the uh, airbed on um, for the different uh, setup jobs. So as I say, as you get a larger sheet, you want the airbed. If you get a smaller sheet, you don't need the airbed. So you can program it all the way through the program. We've also got, if we want a jack function on after that cut or, or off, um, everything's just really easy touch screen. Once we've um, stored that job, we can just press uh, return. Now we've got that job, we just press program start. Air table comes on, because I've told it to do. We go to 550, I'll do my cut, and it would uh, step through the program. Really easy to do. Press program stop, and we can go back into manual mode. We've also got a simple card cutting function. So we just tell it the starting size, the size of the strip we want to cut, 55 mil, and then the gutter for seven mil. Ideal for quick setup on uh, business cards without having to run a full program. Um, and then lastly, we've got options. We've got special functions, uh, language, calibration, sensor test, program reset, knife change, service, and uh, licensing, and the counter um, on the machine. Um, the knife change allows us to go in, brings the blade down to the bottom, stops at the bottom, so we can do a quick reset. Um, the rest of the stuff really is for um, the engineers to uh, work through. Sensor test quite a handy one, so you can test all the curtains are working and the buttons are working on the machine, um, and everything, all the sensors on the machine are working correctly. Um, all in all, it's a really simple, very well laid out, uh, system to use uh, that's totally unique to GraphCut using their own software and you get the same screen on all four models um, the 73 size machine to get the larger screen and the 52 size get the slightly smaller screen but it's exactly the same setup and software method of working and um, that's it for the screen um, on to the next bit okay so I wanted to get a bit more into the technical side of the guillotine now this is the main area of advantage of the craft cut machines, especially the two hydraulic models, this being the G73H and also the G52H, which uses the same system as, as this, just very slightly smaller. Um, the G52 and the G73 are electromechanical and not hydraulic, um, and I'll go through them in a separate video. This is the full hydraulic system of the G73H. You can see that the, the motor and the tank are integrated. The machine comes fully equipped with all the fluid you're expecting it that you would need to get started. You don't need to drain the tank for around five years. Um, the machine has uh, two-way valves. So unlike some other machines that are on the market, which are um, hydraulic, they, <coughs> they actually have a spring return. Um, these machines don't have a spring return. These are actually driven both down on the hydraulics and up on the hydraulics. That gives a much longer uh, life um, of the machine and a much better uh, return accuracy on the blade and the clamp drive. Um, it's important to know that both the clamp and the knife are fully hydraulic on this machine. Um, all the controls of the um, hydraulics are run through uh, sensors controlled by the SICK safety controller um, and PLC controllers. All the stroke arm is operated on proximity switches um, and the, the uh, clamp pedal is just under your own uh, weight. It's not a driven um, clamp, but it is uh, hinged on both sides and uh, pivoted through a central bar to give you even pressure on both sides. You have got full control of the pressure of the uh, clamp on here, um, and it'll go all the way from 200 to 2000 um, DAN. Um, very reliable, robust system all built in and interesting with this machine when they actually build the, um, the framework the airbed um, and the pump of the airbed is built into the frame and they actually run the airbed piping through the framework so there's no actual piping to to wear down uh, and a key feature of using proximity sensors um, is that there's no switching micro switches or touch switches uh, anywhere on the machine um, that can lead to failures under heavy use um, all in all, you can see the machine is um, very well built. It's actually a German um, hydraulic system. The full system is brought in from Germany and then put into the graph cut in the factory in, in Poland. Um, hopefully you can see on the images there that the, the system is uh, very well built and uh, very robust. Okay, into the electronics component section. Um, the main difference with the GraphCut and a big step away from how the competition do this, uh, GraphCut actually use um, world-renowned manufacturers 
of individual components. Um, the main advantage of that is extreme reliability. So we've got Delta um, power controller inverters, Delta PLCs, SICK uh, safety controllers. Um, we've got our Comtax Omron, Omron controller. Uh, and we've got inline fuses where we can isolate different parts of the machine. We've also got a bank of um, relays here. We've actually got uh, test buttons where we can test individual sections of the machine. Um, the main advantage of using a setup such as this is one, it's easily accessible, uh, and two, these components um, aren't unique to Graphcore. They're actually available from any uh, SICK, Delta, Omron distributor in the UK or the world, which means that these components are all off the shelf. So in the unlikely event that you do have a problem, and like I say, these parts are extremely reliable because of uh, who manufactures them, um, we can source the part um, on the next day service, pretty much guaranteed um, from a whole host of uh, UK suppliers, um, which makes it uh, extremely easy to look after and maintain the machine and also absolutely limits the downtime in the event of any issue uh, should you have one. Okay, so just one last point before we conclude the video. Just wanted to say that the Graphcut machines, the full range of Graphcut, are all fully built and assembled in, in the factory in Poland. Everything from uh, flat sheet steel, which comes in, goes through the factory CNC cutters, right through to the assembly, and the powder coating process is all done in-house. The build quality is absolutely second to none. Um, if you don't believe us, come and see the machines. We back up what we say with a full two-year warranty on these products, fully supported with our Alliance service package, spur blade, service, installation, training. Why not take a minute and come down and see the machines for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to give us a call or drop us an email anytime. Thanks.